Hey YouTube, this is Brandon from Origin Outfitters, the company that brings you the style you desire for the schools you love. And today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to do an advanced touch-up or enhancements to uh, make your image look more appealing and eye-popping. So um, before we get started, I'd like to say um, please do us a favor and like us on Facebook, Origin Outfitters. We're starting our own clothing company, um, growing pretty um, rapidly. So if you if you guys want any shout-outs or if um, you have any products that you want to show, then we will um, do shout-outs on our page and on our Facebook page. So um, just message us and we'll set something up because we are a growing company and we know that exposure helps everyone. So just, yeah, message us. But let's get started on this tutorial. So let's begin. All right. So right now, you see the before and after. The before is on the left, after is on the right. You see it's more um, eye popping and it's more appealing. So um, this is the full image, and that's the after image, and this is the before. So um, let's begin by starting with the before. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to drag this image and duplicate it. Because we want, we want to make sure that if we mess up, that we will always have something to fall back on. So after that, we are going to go to the image, and we are going to start off by shadows using the shadows and highlights tool. The shadow and highlight tool is always a very um, useful tool because it takes out the um, shadows and it adds all. Like you can see all the color, and it brings out everything in the image. So we want, to, we want to take that up to about um, 45. Take the tonal up some so it's like a little bright. Then take the radius up a lot because then it darkens the image a little bit on the outside. As you can see, it makes it a little more dark right there. It makes it look more defined. Leave the highlights at zero because if you turn the highlights up like that, um, it starts to lose the um, flash in the middle of the face right here. And the flash looks nice with the um, this image that we're doing. So leave that down. And then this won't, this, these won't affect anything because the um, amount of highlights is at zero. And then with the color correction, just leave. You can, you can, you can like mess with this how, how you um, feel. But right now, I'm probably going to leave it at like 18. And then we're going to turn the mid um, tone contrast up to give it a darker effect to make it more eye popping around the eyes and um, just more color. So you can see as we go from zero to 20. You see a more dark image and it's more um, intense. So that's always a good way to start your first um, image. Now moving to step two. Um, step two is going to involve us going to the image adjustments and brightness. Um, anytime we're going to do any adjustments to images to um, enhance the image and its um, eye appealing look, you want to going to you're going to want to go down this list. So basically, we just go down this list, and that will always make your image look a little bit better if you make the right adjustment. So let's start with the brightness and contrast. With the brightness, um, we don't want to put it up too much, but we will put it up to about um, 18 with this image. So it gives it just a little brighter look in the eye. It looks a little bit more brown right there. That's a nice little look. Um, with the contrast, if you lower it, you'll see that she loses her um, boldness in her hair and the um, bold color that she has, and it looks um, more dry. But if you add it, if you add to it, go about to like 35, and you'll see that she, her hair gets dark and it has like a nice strong of like effect on her face and even in the eyes and everything looks more strong in her um in this in her features. So we'll keep that right there. Then we'll go to adjustments again and we'll go to levels. This is step three. So with this, um, if you pull this to the left, it will make a brighter image. Pull that to the right, it's darker. To the left, brighter. So anything to the left basically is bright. To the right, it's dark. So with this, um, we'll leave this how it is. This, we want to make it a little bit darker to make it um, a more strong effect. And this a little bit darker. And then now we can pull this over a little bit to make it a little bit brighter. So I'm going to put that about 250. So it just makes a, you'll see the preview, um, the before and after that. It, it makes it just a little more strong image. So that's just a little small effect that we did with the um, with the levels tool. Um, curves, you can mess with that if you want to, but with this image I won't. But curves can be a very good um, tool. I'll, I'll explain that in a later tutorial. So then let's go to um, vibrance. Like I explained in an earlier tutorial, the vibrance, um, it, it, it targets colors that are like blue and green and 
and um, stays away from more of like the facial features and facial tones. So um, vibrance is the way to go when you're um, doing someone's skin tone. So we're going to add a little bit of vibrance to this so that her hair gets a little bit darker and her eyes pop a little bit more. But other than that, we'll leave that the same. So now the next step we'll take is we'll um, mess with her a little bit with her fac facial features and her lips and her um, eyes. Um, we want to make her eyes a little more light so they um, stand out more. So we're going to go to the um, dodge tool and make sure the exposure is about 50% up here. You'll see the exposure. And make the um, the brush um, to the color of her eyes so you can like make it bigger and smaller up here. And you also can press the brackets key to make it bigger or smaller. So, but um, we're going to just do that to her eyes, make it a little bit exposed more so it stands out and it's bright. And then we're going to take the burn tool and go on her lips because they're looking a little bit um, dry. So we're going to go to the burn tool and burn over her lips so they darken up a little bit. And that will help out the um, picture later. You'll see. So we got that. And then now we're going to go, this is the this is the big step, this is where um, you soften the skin. This is like the big major impact of the, um, the this whole edit. So we're going to take this image and duplicate it one more time. So now you have two images. On your top image, change the um, this the style and change it to soft light. So now it's going to add a dark effect to it. And um, now after you, after you um, have the soft light added to the top layer of this, so you should have the normal and then soft light. So then on the top layer that's soft light, go to filter, go to blur, and you go to Gaussian blur. So as you can see with this, it, it, it adds an effect of like a blurred look or a softer face. So you can play around with this and see where you want to get, be with that, or what um, style do you want. A lot of people like different things, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take it to about. I like the soft the soft look, the soft effect that um, this Gaussian blur gives. Other people like the that look, but I'm gonna go with around 12. So I'll press OK to that, and then um. Just so it's not, it's like, now it looks a little bit too strong, so I'm going to take the top layer and turn the opacity down a little bit. I'm going to turn it down to about 69, just to give it more of a real look. So instead of that, instead of this, we'll have 69. And that, that'll give it a better look. And then um, also, to finish it off, we're going to add an effect around the outside edge to give it a little bit border. So this is what I this is what I do. I mean, you can do this in multiple ways, but I take the I I make I create a new layer, and then I go to the paint, um, the paint bucket and make it black, and I just fill it in. All the way. Then I take the erase tool, and I make it so it fits around the image. So that's not big enough yet. So let's go to about 900. That's too much. 737. That's get that's that's about a better size. So now I go to the image, and I want to look just like that, so it's on the outside. So the edges, there's, there's little triangles in the edge, and then I click it. So that's that. Oh, actually, I want the soft brush tool. So you want the soft edge, the soft round brush tool, and then not click it. And it's going to give that nice look. So you just keep clicking it until the inside's bright and the outside's a little bit dark. Now I'm going to take this a little bit more down the opacity so it's not as dark. And now you can see the um, lightness of her hair down here. And that's basically what we got in the first image. So let me show you the before, the image I showed you to start with. That was that image. And now we have that. So this was just a little bit darker. I mean, I, I edited it just a little bit different, but that basically shows that with, with the edit that we just did, we can go from that picture, we can go from this picture, this is the end result, and that was the beginning picture. So we go from that to that. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions, comment, um, like us on Facebook, subscribe to us, 
and shoot us any messages if you have any questions or if you have anything that you want for us to do a video on, then we'll send us a request and we will happily do it. So um, thank you for watching and have a happy holiday. See you next time.